What is up everyone, Norman from Future Studio University here and in this first video of a series which will all about the custom fonts on Android. So we're going to show you how to apply custom fonts to Android text views, Android buttons and so on. In this first video we're going to keep it simple and just apply one custom font to one text view. So I've created a new project. It's pretty much empty, just has the main activity and a pretty simple layout. So our goal for this video is to change the font of this hello world up here. So the first thing we have to do is to add the actual file which contains the custom font. So once you got the custom font file from a designer or you downloaded it from the internet, you need to create an asset folder in your app. And if it doesn't exist yet, you can right click on the app, click new, folder and assets folder. You're going to keep the main, click finish, and it's going to create the assets folder for you. If you right click now, hit reveal and finder, and over here I've prepared a few custom fonts. For now, we're just gonna open the assets folder and copy one over. Now in our project, the new font, which is source control, is going to be available. It's right here. So the next step is to apply the font to this text view. So let's move on to our main activity code. First, we have to find our text view. And we're going to do that by our regular find view by ID. All text views have a set typeface method, which you're going to use. So it's expecting a typeface object. So let's create that object. So the next task is to create a typeface with this custom font. And for that, Android offers the method typeface, create from asset. And it's expecting two parameters, asset manager and the path. So we're going to use get assets, which is referencing to that folder. Then we just have to copy the name of the file. So if you want to make it easy, we can just copy and paste it so we don't get any typos. And it's going to create a typeface based on this custom font, and then we'll set it to this text view. If you move over to the designer, it's still showing the standard Roboto font. Unfortunately, you will not see it in the designer. You have to run the actual app on an emulator on a real device to see the custom fonts. So let's start it. We're building the app. And once it's deployed, Alright, and so as you can see, the tile font actually changed. You can see it pretty clearly as the alt. And that's how you apply a custom font to a single text view in Android. In the next few videos, we're going to show you a few more things. We're going to show you how to use multiple custom fonts. We're going to show you how to make this all more efficient. And we're going to show you how to set the custom font via the XML and not the code. So stay tuned. In the description, you will find the links for the other videos. And if you like this video, subscribe to us on YouTube and happy coding.